Um, the Mayans, they were astronomers, mathematicians, they were very connected to cycles. They were observers, and no doubt they were much more advanced than us. Uh, they used telepathy as well as a way of communication. Uh, there are some that believe that they were more kind of the extraterrestrials that they left uh, after they finished their uh, reign. Uh, now we have the living Mayans, mainly in Guatemala, but the ones that really created the whole, you know, the pyramids, the, the calendars. And there's a whole uh, school of thought Absolutely. that extraterrestrials were involved with the Mayans to to build some of the structures, to do some of the things they did. Correct. They did communicate telepathically. They were more connected as in a oneness. Correct. You know, and the pyramids that now you are uh, involved with as well, mm -hmm. also they are related to the Mayans, the pyramids in Egypt. So there is a whole, whole uh, story for sure uh, that uh, is very important for us to, to know as well. But uh, what I can say uh, very briefly about uh, 2012, uh, Every cycle ends, and because it's a cycle, it starts again. Everything is eternal, perpetual. So December 31st is the end of the cycle. But we know the next day, uh, January 1st comes, right. <laughs> and it repeats itself over and over. So uh, 2012 is the end of a very important cycle. Uh, I mentioned before the token is a short count, ca uh, count calendar. The 2012 is a long count calendar. The thing is that the long count calendar is 5,125 years. And every five long count calendars, or 26,000 years, there is something that is known as the procession of the equinoxes. And that's why also a lot of prophecies are around that as well, because things are happening on an astronomical level, on a lot of different levels. And uh, what is important for me <laughs> is not really what is said about 2012, but what we all feel. And uh, my best teacher, I had a lot in my life, but my best teacher has been always nature. So we don't have to read anything, we don't need to know anything, we don't need to understand the debates that are happening right now about 2012, we just need to see what Mother Nature is doing. And all those uh, earthquakes and tsunamis and big things on a real large scale. Yeah, those mom doesn't seem too happy with this. Not she? really. <laughs> for good reason, I might add. I She's bet. been really patient with us for a long time, as far as I'm concerned. I agree. So. And all of that is within each one of us as well. We're all feeling earthquakes and tsunamis within as well. The thing is that separation, when I write the wave spells or the messages uh, in the column, the ego and the soul, when uh, in this hectic times and when we grow up, we get so used to live based on our fears that we forget who we truly are. We forget our essence, we forget where we come from, the source. And we feel that separation from all that is. This is me, Mariella, in this life and this and that. And it's everything. I'm you, you're me, in Lakesh. That's my greeting. So now, it's a real time of awakening, even if we don't understand what 2012 is about. And to be honest with you, it's not relevant. Yeah, <laughs> it agree. doesn't matter. I agree. I agree. So just feel, just be present, present, breathe in the now, and you'll find the answers within, and you'll understand perfectly what 2012 is about. Okay. okay. Um, so your book, um, My Mayan Awakening, mm -hmm. is is really about your personal journey, right? Correct. And with and sharing our personal journeys often helps other people mm -hmm. with their personal journeys, either because they read something and they go, oh, that might apply to me too, sure. or maybe I can use that, whatever it is. So if I'm hearing you correctly, when you went to meet with... Um, Patricia? <laughs> right. It w that was sort of a crossroads for you. Absolutely. Am I going to continue on the path that I'm on, living the life I'm living, or am I going to follow what's kind of calling me? Mm -hmm. And obviously, you chose probably the path less traveled mm -hmm. and, and stepped up to the plate with that calling. So, so good for you, good for you. Mm -hmm. And now you help other people do that, correct? Yeah, that's exactly okay. the mission. <laughs> All right, so what is your website? It's www.mayankin.com. 
Okay, great. Right. Right. Okay, and then, of course, your column comes out in the New Era Times every Correct. other Saturday. Mm -hmm. So the subscriptions are free to that to that publication, so people can keep up with you there, mm -hmm. and also your book and your work. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Betty. Right. Delighted. Thank you. Well, there you go. Um, if you're interested in the Mayan culture or just in different ways that you can look at existence on our planet today or the whole 2012 ph phenomenon, which I have to just throw this in, you know, the thing that scares me about 2012 really is that it takes us out of the present. Yes. And isn't the right. present moment the most important thing? I mean, come on, you could get hit by a bus before 2012, so. That's true. So let's, mm -hmm. let's put that aside and worry about what we're doing today, correct? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So catch Mariella's uh, column on the New Era Times, buy her book, have, have a session with her, and she can help you pick the path if you're at a crossroads. I'm Peggy Sue Skipper. I want to thank you for joining us on the New Era Book Connection, and we'll see you next time.